Tim Collins with the Coleman and I'm out with Jamie Speakman. He's the newest commissioner for the Coleman County Community Development Commission. Had a meeting tonight. It's your first time ever. You were recently appointed by Paul Busman. What was it like? Was it eye-opening? How did it go for you tonight? It was eye-opening. Uh, I thought everything went well. Uh, learned learned a lot. Um, and was able, I, I think I'll be able to be more prepared next time, you know, during the me next meeting we have. Well, I, I've watched you over the last couple of years. You're on the uh, Government Affairs Committee for the Chamber. You do a lot of a lot of work in politics. Uh, the person I know is fairly conservative. Will you take those conservative kind of views into the commission, or what's your absolutely, plan? Absolutely, absolutely. I, I feel like I've got a very conservative background, and, uh, you know, I will take that conservative values and use those on this commission. Well, I noticed at the end there, the thing, everything went pretty smoothly until you guys got down to a vote on the proposed Fairview track, which was for $50,000, well above right. your normal amount. And you did your homework. You went out to the track, made some inspections, and uh, voted against it. Absolutely. I, well, I voted to more or less table it. Um, I don't feel that, you know, there's enough knowledge there for to just be able to give out fifty thousand dollars of taxpayer money until we have more questions answered um, there is more than just redoing the track resurfacing the track you know there's obviously drainage issues uh, out there stuff that needs to be addressed before I can justify saying I'm okay with giving fifty thousand dollars well my understanding is you looked at it it looks like there's some, some drainage issues that would negate whatever new track work that was done a year, two, three years down the road, you got to get that fixed first, it sounds like, right? In my opinion, I believe so. Obviously, I'm not into, you know, the construction business. But in my opinion, I feel like when I walked around the track, there was a lot of erosion that uh, where the track meets the field. And I just feel like there's probably a lot of drainage issues that needs to be repaired before uh, they can resurface that. Uh, Want to make sure that the 50,000 is going to be enough. If it's not enough, Where's the rest of the money going to come from? Just a lot of questions that we need answered uh, before we can justify giving fifty thousand dollars. Makes sense. Well, Jamie, I appreciate you talking to me. Uh, congratulations on being a new commissioner. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Tim. All right, I'm with Bradley Williams. Bradley, uh, new man on the commission tonight. I thought it went pretty smoothly. I've attended these for, for many moons, and, and you seem to have control of this meeting. Was lots of folks, thirty people, thereabouts, came in to uh, get a grant. Uh, that's right, Tim. We had a lot of people here tonight, and we gave out. Uh, I, I didn't keep uh, track, but probably 15 or so, and we declined some, too. Yeah, it was very even-handed. You guys really took your time and, and let the uh, the folks who had applied for grants come in, say their piece, and uh, it was very thorough. Uh, what do you think about your new uh, your new committee member there? Is he, is he going to make it, you think? Oh, yeah. Jamie Speakman's a great addition to the committee, and along with... Uh, uh, myself and Joe Golden and Josh Speakman as well. I think we make a good group. Now I have asked this in times past. You guys used to have a true chairman. Never, never kind of came around and happened. So who is is Joe the acting chairman now based on seniority or what? How does that work? Right. Well, the legislators would have to appoint a fifth member, and I guess they're still working on that. So until that happens, uh, Joe Golden has the most seniority of us right now. So I guess he he'll be acting chair until that happens. Now I'm going to ask you a tough question. It's it's how to explain what the Coleman Community, Coleman County Community Development Commission is. People, I don't think grants, but I think it's an awesome program. Tell us about it. Right. Well, what we do is we give out grant money to uh, uh, groups that de that we consider would deserve it, fall under certain criteria, which are schools, fire departments, uh, 501c3s. You know, that's that could be a lot of people, and also uh, fire departments. If I could, didn't mention them, and uh, so we, a lot of those people fall into that, and we uh, give a lot of. Uh, grants to those and we also decline them if you don't and you have to meet certain stringent criteria and it comes from TBA in lieu of tax money and also beer uh, tax money here well, in, and here you in make the city. Pretty easy. Your county. website people can go who are a 501c3 looking for a grant they can just apply right online correct? That's great. Paperwork's very simple. Now we got down to it tonight uh, we've been you know the, the, typically the maximum grant is 12,000 in recent months you've given 50,000 to West Point and Hansville High Schools for a track that came up for fair for you tonight, but uh, you and uh, Jamie Speakman 
Right. You don't really want to proceed on that. Can you tell us about your views there? Right. Well, I'm, we're not anti-Fairview by any means because we gave a $50,000 grant to the senior center out there not too long ago. But all only thing we were asking is there seems to be uh, myself and uh, uh, Jamie Spiegelman went out just the other day to look at the track, and it seems to be there's some drainage issues. And we just want to make sure that those are going to be addressed before we give the grant for the new track because if you're going to do a new track and really don't fix those drainage issues with the water going over the track, it comes, seems to be coming from the football field, it's really going to be right back in the same shape we are in a year or two. We don't really want to give away $50,000 of taxpayer money and then you know, be wasted. So we just want to make sure everything's, all our I's are dotted and our T's crossed before we before we do that, or that's my opinion. Well, that's what you were entrusted by our legislator to do, is to make those kind of decisions and assessments. So it sounds like you're doing your job. Well, I appreciate it. Bradley, anything else we should know? Well, when's the next meeting? Uh, the next meeting will be the last Monday of August. Very good. Well, you know where to come. You know. Coleman City Hall. Coleman City Hall, 6 p.m. Thanks for talking to me, Brad. I appreciate it. Thank you.